everyone, Terry Welbrock here, host of the Healing Place podcast. And just wanted to share with you that the narration that I've been doing for audiobooks has taken off and it's been wonderful. I just turned in uh, book number three for review and approval. Uh, book two is still in review. Book one is out there in the world of Audible. So if you want to go check it out, that's the energy medicine solution. And then book number four, I am actually starting today. So yay. Anyway, just wanted to put that bug in your ear again to go check it out on Audible. If you aren't uh, yet a part of Audible, you can go to the Facebook page for the podcast. So Facebook, uh, The Healing Place Podcast. And I have links there to go. You can go, I think it's a 28-day free trial. Uh, I think there's some sort of special going on with Audible or some sort of special plan they have. Um, And you can check it out. Yeah. All right. Well, and if you live in the UK, I actually have 25 um, complimentary codes for for a complimentary copy of the Energy Medicine Solution. So reach out to me, send me an email, go to my website, terrywellbrock.com, and fill out the contact form. And then uh, reach out to me and tell me that you would like a code and I will email one back to you. The first 25 people from the UK that uh, ask me for one will get it. Uh, I've given out all the ones. I had 25 for the United States as well, but I have given those out, so those are gone. Um, And if you're one of those who've received the 25 codes for the United States uh, and you love the book, please be sure to go to Amazon and uh, leave a five-star review telling us all how much you love it. All right. Okay. Now for today's inspirational and wow, did I learn a lot, empowering episode. Welcome everybody to the Healing Place podcast. I'm your host, Terry Welbrock, and very excited to have with me today, Justin Branson. And he is a performance coach, expert in EMF, which is electromagnetic fields, author of two books, and we're going to talk about his new book, Grounded by Nature, founder of athleticism.com and emfrocks.com. So welcome, Justin. Thank you, Terry, for having me. I'm, I'm so excited. I told you right before we hit record, I haven't had anybody on the show. And this is, oh my gosh, you're like episode 318 something. And uh, really haven't had anybody on to, to go in depth about uh, the effects of electromagnetic fields. And I know it's been stirring, especially the 5G stuff. I, I see it bubbling. Um, so yeah, so you want to talk to us about um, the impact, I guess, on all of us? Yes. Well, I started seeing it years ago when I was a kid and just talking on a phone, a corded phone, I was so sensitive to it. And so I'm like, why is that? Why is it? Why do I still feel pain with a corded phone? And then I got an internship in a commercial real estate firm and I got stuck around a copy machine, which is x-ray machine, which is ionized radiation, which my fingertips would burn when I pulled the paper off. And that didn't feel good. And then uh, I was the last guy to get a cell phone. So years uh, have gone by where I I started to develop certain awarenesses and and information from what this non-native EMFs were. And then about a decade ago, I started seeing our athletes break down. So I started athleticism.com 25 years ago doing nerve work for sports performance. And I saw one of the strongest, fittest guys come in wearing a smartwatch for wearable technology. His entire arm went weak. And and he's like, Justin, what do I do? And I said, well, let's get the radiation off your wrist. Well, the pain went away directly underneath it. And for some reason, he couldn't correlate it. Probably because all the brilliant marketing that just wear it, this is great for you. And then his arm function restored shortly thereafter. So that's when I knew we had to look to nature to solve this challenge and and understand the difference between all these EMF fields and then how we're designed and made. Oh my gosh, Justin, I have to tell you this. It's so crazy. So 
my audience knows I've been going through, uh, I was exposed to mold very, very badly and uh, had mycotoxin poisoning. And so I'm, I'm finally in the last stages and recovering. Labs are looking great, doing so much better. But this crazy psoriasis uh, was triggered, um, this rash. And so I'm having a little bit of a flare. And earlier when I was uh, taking an Epsom salt bath, see, I have my, I have my little watch on here. And then when I took it off, I was like, why is it so bad right there in my, like, in that particular wow. spot? I was like, what is going on here? Yet I threw it back on. <laughs> so I, I'm, now you, now, you know, Terry, I know I just said it over there. I'm like, all right, that's going oh, over there. Oh, <laughs> wow. You know, what's crazy. So I just heard this uh, from another doctor. So a lot of the. The um, speak guest speak on a lot, a lot of doctor podcasts, and one of them said that he had some patients and they had mold, and they were they moved out of that setting. They moved into a smart home, and within six months, they got progressively worse, like like so so bad. It, they 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 had to move out of that one, and they didn't correlate that EMF with mold and microtoxins as a challenge, but that's like one of the biggest things is mold, microtoxins, parasites, candida, fungus, they're all charged by EMFs. And Dr. Klinghart will share that with you. Dr. Todd Watts, I don't know if you did any cell core pro product protocols for flushing that out, but they I have do great more. supplements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the founder of that talks about it as well. Yeah, well, that's that's fascinating, and I I had read here and there on different uh, you know support pages on on Facebook and so forth, people talking about the correlation with EMF, and I never understood. But now now you're talking about just charging it. It makes so much sense. Almost like it's it's just giving it a little electric sizzle of hey, <laughs> come to life. Yeah, right. Well, Klinghart did this work and, and found out that these these challenges in the body they just keep showing up even more and more and stronger and stronger with the emf and uh just to go back uh, dr martin paul out of washington state university talks about the voltage gated calcium channels open up so breaking down that like that's a gateway for your cells your mitochondria to get energy the voltage gated <laughs> calcium channel so if if our mitochondria is messed up then and then and then we start to break down secondary effects of DNA challenges, oxidative stress challenges, challenges within our body end up amplifying from this. It, it's a massive stressor on our body, even at low level radiation to higher level. Wow. Now, now 5G, I, I just, I'm just going to admit, I just don't understand. Again, it keeps coming across my radar, but I really haven't done any research on it. Why is that? How is that different? Why is that different? And what, what is it doing? So we categorize EMFs, Terry, in three different categories, and we measure it by the speed of their waveform. So it's really simple. And then you could go and buy a meter to meter each of those levels because the meter is designed to meter the speed of a waveform. So electricity is 50 to 60 hertz or waves per second. A dirty electricity is 4,000 to 100,000 about waves per second. And then all the wireless signals from radio to radar would be in the 50 million to billions of waves per second. And so the difference is, is that there are one directional waveforms, but we're not made with one directional waveforms. And then the speed of their waveforms are way faster than we rev, sleep and optimize. So we ask about 5G, 5G is 60 to 90 billion waves per second of a one directional polarizing waveform. When we're sleeping, Terry, we're one or below one to eight hertz or waves per second. So it's 60 billion waves faster on up than how we're designed of a polarizing one directional waveform. 
And that smartwatch that you just took off your wrist and will never put on because it's causing challenges with your skin is 2.45 gigahertz or 2.45 billion waves per second. So I've, I've quantified it into waves per second because everyone can understand that. And then the direction of it, like the sun's unpolarized. I, my hand's right here. You can still see light underneath it, right? Or if I drop a pebble into a pond, it doesn't go in a straight line. The splash, the resonance of the water distributes equally in every direction, right? right. It doesn't go in a straight line. So those are the framework of, they're called unpolarized waves, which our entire planet's based on and we're based on. And the name of those are scalar waves. They're called scalar waves. So, and they're unpolarized waveforms, but all non-native EMFs, all man-made EMFs are one directional. And then they cause this vibration that breaks down all these other challenges you know, in our body. Wow. Now, is there a safe distance from them or... Is it we have these towers everywhere and these devices everywhere and we're just being inundated with it? We're just being inundated with. So what I want everyone to look at is to read a book called The Invisible Rainbow by Arthur Furstenberg. And he categorized the history of electricity and life and directly correlates every major pandemic to increased electrification of our environment. And it could have been cosmic shifts from atmospheric pressure shifts or solar flares before 1889. We saw those in the history. And then after 1889, we started to see once electricity, that was the year electricity got put into all of our homes. And they called the flu the flu before that because it would fly in and fly out with solar flares. And then not until we put electricity in our homes for good was a flu here to stay. And then 1918 was a Spanish flu. We rolled up radio waves for the first time. And then satellites for the Hong Kong flu. And then World War II was radar. And then the last few years was 5G. So they keep ratcheting up the speed of this. And then a lot of people are adapting at the level they're capable of during those time frames. So it, that book is an incredible timeline of electricity and life. And so we're just being inundated with this. There is absorption ratings, a closer proximity, the way worse for you. But when we're shifting our environment at such a significant levels, it's going to affect us. So you, for you, dealing with mold on the on the you know, tail end of it and still having some psoriasis, some skin challenges, the best thing you could do is to get outside and get into nature and get grounded by nature because it's free. But what it's going to do is it's going to recharge the polarity in your body. And you're going to be able to start to detoxify any stuck EMF. And then these challenges will just slowly go away. I love it. This I'm not kidding today. I went in the backyard made sure there wasn't any dog leftovers and uh, laid flat on in the grass and just, well, one, I'm on beautiful Hilton Head Island and just absorb some sun and just listen to the birds. But I, I literally was just like, all right, I just going to release, release into the mother earth, like just release and enjoy. And um, so I love it that you said that because I, I find it healing and um, it works. Yeah, it works for sure. And when we're having this wearable technology, whether it's a Nest uh, or not a Nest, but a smartwatch or or these uh, whatever ring, the 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 actual uh, sleep tracking, I forget what it's called, uh, ring that people wear to check their sleep. Those things, if you're sleeping right next to it, next to your head or you have your phone next to you, that's 2.45 billion ways per second, uh, you know, all the time. So your brain tries to figure out what that bandwidth is so you don't get into these deep restorative sleep. So it's really important to do what you're doing and use these protocols to reground yourself because we're inundating, we're self-inundating ourselves a lot of the time because we just have been marketed you know, in a, in a very profound way and we have to unlearn what these companies are really 
broadcasting for their profit right. and without really caring about much on our health. Yeah. Well, you have, you have something to so your uh, EMF rocks is that that's a product and are those um, like, like crystals? Are they, are they a specific kind of rock that help absorb and, and help people ground? Yes. So everyone looks to nature to get grounded, right? And to ground out your home, your electricity. So did I. So we look to nature to solve this challenge because nature has this negative ionic charge and we pull the electrons from it. So nature has a resonance that we can heal from. And that's what you were doing outside, laying out on your lawn. And the more of Mother Earth, the more that resonance we can bring into our home, the more coherence we're going to have with all the non-native waveforms. So our product is emfrocks.com. And we hand mine crystals. These are the beautiful pink crystals that are inside of our grounding bags. And we hand mine them. You use the product as is. You put this on your bed. You'll sleep three to 50%, maybe even more better. And especially someone challenging, having challenges with mold or mycotoxins or parasites, you'll really notice a huge, huge uh, shift in your sleep in a great wow, way. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to try that. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it a specific type of uh, crystal? I mean, it's it, like, it's found in, in nature. It's not something you create, right? Correct. So all the other products out there are man-made resonances to attempt to keep up with other man-made resonances. To me, that's a futile effort. That's like a GMO food. Do you like eating GMO food? Yeah. Neither do I. So I would not want a genetically modified resonance either to help heal me for the most part. You know, that's just doesn't make sense. So we look to nature and her resonance. They're called colloid crystals. So these crystals are softer rocks. So you have to keep them sealed. So we hot seal them in this bag and then we put them inside of these two bags and that's how we deploy them. But the colloid they have moisture properties with the magnetic. So the combination between the two makes them exponentially stronger for EMF protection. So shungite, amethyst, black tourmaline, all the other known crystals that have, they call them Tesla crystals that have magnetic resonances. Ours have that with the moisture. And no one's ever seen this because when they would mine it, they would turn to dust. But these will last three, four years maybe even a lot longer. So you're going to get an incredible lifespan out of them. And they're going to have you sleep, you know, up to 50% better or more. Dr. Rodney White out of Nebraska just, just did a test. The grounding bags clinically passed, or excuse me, uh, that's another test. The grounding bags took his deep sleep from 45 minutes to 100 minutes for wow. two months straight. That's not anecdotal, Terry. That that's like a third party doctor doing a test for two months on a, a product he's never used before. So they work really, really well. And then Berlando, Alpha Vedic, A L F A, V E D. I see these are all great resources. Everyone should also check out. He did a, a waveform test, and the grounding bags clinically passively treat up to ninety one percent of the markers that were off on his patients. He's never seen anything correct. So wow. they passed the tests of doctors. We sell them through doctor clinics all around the country. They're the most natural way. Tom Cowan, Tom Cowan, COWA and MD, uh, who's now a biodynamic farmer. And he has his drtomcowan.com website where they sell incredible products and, and biodynamic seasonings for food. He's, he says, it just, it's so intuitive for us to look to nature and nature to have the answers to help protect us. And our grounding bags are the most natural way, way to do it. And they're also a huge reseller of ours as well. Amen. My sister and I have been talking about that a lot lately and because we're, we're starting to grow our own foods and herbs and we make our own herbal teas and it, and it is, it's amazing what I've learned on the, in the past, gosh, two and a half years being on this, this mycotoxin recovery journey of how eating 
whole foods and organic and holistically and but yeah I'm so I'm just so fascinated now and so another curiosity then is are those bags is it something you'd want to like put in your car with you or like, like ha- oh, yeah. carry with you, like put in my purse. <laughs> yeah. So we have several different protocols. We have, uh, you put one on your bed and, and or underneath it. And if it's under you basically, uh, have a touching the leg of the bed. And then and you do that same with a desk or a car seat. So underneath the back of your car seat, and then five together clear 2,000 square feet. You need seven if you have solar on a home and you need seven in an electrical car because driving an electrical car is not great for our health. Yeah, that was one of the subjects that I had put a little star by because <laughs> one of my kiddos is like, can't wait to get my Tesla. Like they're so excited, like someday the dream car. And uh one of your your highlights um, had said, are, are electric cars good for us in our environment? Oh, Terry, I could literally write a dissertation on this. And it's probably one of the hottest topics right now that I could go over. But electric cars are really challenging because you're sitting on a massive battery. And, and the whole floorboard is a is multiple batteries. So never in the history of any health <laughs> book or anything is sitting on a massive battery good for you ever. And so that's number one. And, and what it does is it drops your testosterone, 18% lower t- t- testosterone for guys and girls driving electric cars, which is a big number uh, out of a colleague doing uh, blood work for military, for special forces. And that was the biggest marker change she saw. So, you know, in addition to that, there's so many other things. You're using the grid to use the vehicle. So we're upping the usage of the grid that we're, you know, they're claiming they want to reduce the usage of. So there's not an infrastructure for it, really. Uh, there, there's never going to be enough power to to have everyone drive cars or to charge their cars. And they're using coal and cadmium and precious minerals to mine these, you know, these batteries, the, the substances that go in them. And I mean, this is unbelievable. And people steal catalytic converters. I mean, they should be stealing uh, cell tower sites because there's so many minerals, like literally there's so much value in a cell tower panel because they're, they, and the similar with these batteries, they use so much minerals uh, in these batteries and in these cell panels that, it just it's devastating when they're on the mining process. And then then when they don't last for very long, when your car runs out after a decade, they're filling up our landfills with acid and dead right. batteries. And you know, these batteries don't get more efficient when you use them. They don't get lighter. They're they get way less efficiency in, in cold temperatures. And and then the the scary thing for me, which I, I never want to deal with is they could shut your car down at any time and take over control over your car. So these cute computers can drive your car for you and shut it down and say, Hey, your car is now under the control of the state of whatever. And, uh, you're not driving your car anymore. So that to me, the privacy, the safety, the security of, of it, you know, is another big challenge. So the health and the safety are the big things. And then you have all these other things on top of it. So I, I just, uh, I feel it's a really big fad. I think uh, some industries have made a lot of money doing it. And I, I don't know why in the world they they even pushed it because it's not a net zero on the environment in any way, shape or form. And it's way worse for our health. I, I, I've I been thinking the same thing. Like one, what are they going to do with all these batteries once, once they start dying off? And two, there's... There, that we're still going to have to have energy or to, to, to um, charge all this stuff. Yeah. It just, right. it, it just hasn't made sense to me. So, well, it doesn't, it just doesn't. And so I, I don't think this will last because I just heard uh, today on a, in a government agency, someone was talking about, you know, what studies have you guys done for usage 
you know, and, and how much it's going to increase with the demand you're you're touting, and then what? Where is it? Where is that electricity going to come from? Would and you want to reduce the usage of electricity, right? <laughs> so it, it just, I I I think it's really um, you know really unusual that that people can make it this far with something that has zero merit behind it. Yes, I, I absolutely agree. Yes. Well, I could sit here and talk to you for hours upon end, but I want to give you the opportunity. Is there anything that you specifically wanted to talk about that we haven't touched upon yet? Yeah. So there's a couple of things, Terry. What I really love to share with everyone is that our body and our universe are one and we're made on scalar waves. And, and this is a little simple physics lesson and our air, our environment is everything around us, but I'm going to lean in on the air part because we don't really, for some reason, unless we're in Los Angeles and we see the pollution in the air, we don't equate the air to be in our environment as far as like an invisible stressor would show up in it. So, but that's what's happening right now. The EMFs are the number one biggest invisible stressor we've ever seen. And the reason is, is because our air is either ether or plasma and the waves and particles travel through that. So that's why we can make a cell phone a call across the world in a split second, or you get your passcode sent to you in a split second. And we can have this incredible conversation from across the country. It's all through waveforms. And understanding that all nature is made on these scalar waves that are unpolarized and we're you know, and we're the same and then all man-made is one directional that starts to define the framework for our universe now how do we coexist with it well eileen mccusick talked about our bodies being a body battery and we get the charge from the earth we get the charge from the sun we breathe in the minerals from the air and then we get it from our food, hopefully. And then we get the conductivity and minerals from the water as well. And that's how our body battery works. So when we can combine all this together, you're going to see a really well-functioning universe and, and plants and pets and people and cattle. We're going to do really well. When you take these certain equations of keeping our bodies charged out, uh, you're going to see people get decharged. Charged. And then they're going to carry more voltage than they're supposed to carry. And then once they lose their body battery polarity, they're, they're, they become a gateway for disease or challenges or psoriasis or whatever the case may be. The list is endless on how this stuff affects us. And so the essence of everything is to really understand that we're one with the universe and that non-native EMFs are totally different, one directional than how we're made. And when we have these all around us at all times, it changes our polarity and it chips away at our life force. And when you chip away at your chi, then the chemistry secondary goes and then the biology changes. So what we like to look at is to build your energy field, which ironically goes out about six feet. So that's that resonance of our body. And, and the Schumann resonance, that healing pulse of the earth, Terry, it's, you've heard of that, right? Where you were just laying on that earth. You know yes. what that resonance is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's 7.83 7 Hertz. That's the known Schumann resonance, depending on the season. So we rev really one with this. And then when we're sleeping, and when our brainwave states, when we're sleeping, we're one or below one to eight hertz or waves per second, when a delta or theta brainwave state. And when our athletes are in the flow state and they can't miss, everyone calls it in the zone, their brainwave state is literally eight to 13 hertz or waves per second. So we rev really one with this universe. And the non-natives are so different. They take us away from that. So whether it's cognitive function, or, which are the big signs that people see out of the gates, cancer, suicide, diabetes, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular, infertility are the bigs. The, the intermediate levels will be non-trauma concussion symptoms, uh, nausea, vomiting, 
you know, the, all that, uh, psoriasis would be a medium level symptom of EMF challenge, uh, along with bloody noses and ringing in the ears and migraines. Oh, I was going to ask they'll... about tinnitus and cause I have that too. <laughs> Yeah. So what you, what we really want to focus on for you and your audience to heal is to get hydrated and we want to get grounded and get hydrated. So we have to get the EMFs out of your space. So shut down your Wi-Fi at night or, or hardwire it is better. Hardwire faster, safer, security wise. It's more reliable. So fiber optic, DSL cable. We spent so much money going into it originally to lay this fiber optic cable everywhere. And then now we're just dropped it and going to the, the wireless stuff. So if we can go back to hard wiring, it would be so much, much better. But get an electrical timer or an outlet time, I should say, for your outlet. And you plug in your Wi-Fi router and it turns off at night when you're not using it. And maybe even get a, your electrician to put a, a switch on your electrical panel. Excuse me. So all electricity in your bedrooms turn off at when you're sleeping. So your bedroom is as close to the resonance of the earth as possible. And and then yeah, you're carrying the grounding bag. You know, you have a grounding bag in your bed. You have one in your a mini in your purse or pocket or backpack for on the go protection. Maybe you have your phone and a Faraday bag. We start to develop some of these proximity protocols that that deflect these signals away from us and then create coherences. So there's a lot of stuff to kind of <laughs> go over for proximity stuff for you. Yeah, but that see that all that just makes me go yay and be hopeful. And and the other thing that popped in my head was, whenever I don't get a signal now, I'll be like yeah <laughs> instead of being irritated. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, at first, you know, you're like you're paying so much, and then you drop calls, and you're like you get upset with it. But you know, now it's if we, I would love to find places that don't have EMF. You know, literally man made resonances and there's very few on the planet now unfortunately oceans mountains deserts forests you know they don't need electricity they don't have electricity uh even poverty ridden areas but for some reason telecom and all these industries are really promoting 5g everywhere but uh i i'm a huge waterman and i surf i swim in the ocean i free dive and when I'm in the cove and I live in Laguna Beach, California, I can hear our dolphins and whales when they're in the cove or anywhere surrounding us. And when there is a foil board, an electric foil board, it sounds like a radio station that's on static and turned all the way up. And that's the vibration, the sounds that our bodies hear, but most humans don't hear the plants can hear and feel it. The pets, our pets can hear and feel it. But unfortunately, uh, we don't hear it, but that's what our body's doing is it's feeling that. And it's messing with the coherence, uh, you know, with us and our environment. And we have to get in coherence with our environment, get in the circadian rhythm of our environment, understand that our environment can kill us or allow us to thrive. And if it if it doesn't allow you to thrive, it's it, this these rashes or these things are slowly chipping away at your life force, and these symptoms are your body letting you know that like hey, this thing isn't great for us. Let's get that stressor out, and then we can start to heal. Because the easiest way to get someone better is the example we use with the athlete: clear the stressor out of their world, and the body will self regulate. It's this incredible self healing mechanism. Yes, I agree. And that's how I, I certainly am a fan of, of natural healing. And so I work through a nutritionist to do uh, all of the healing and getting the mycotoxins like binders, like activated charcoal and uh, bentonite clay. And uh, so I, I love it th th what you're talking about, because I am right on board with all of it. And uh, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you for well, one, just the beautiful work you're doing, but yeah, sharing your wisdom with us. I've certainly learned a lot. Yeah. Thank you. And you guys check out Dr. Charlie Fagenholz. He's a big name and everything. And, and again, uh, the fascia, uh, 
Gary Lineham doing his fascia work, get silica in your body to rehydrate you. And we got to stay hydrated. These environmental toxins are coming in every way from aerosol spraying from above and the barium's depleting us of hydration. So when we can move and unwind this fascia, uh, we can clear this, this oxidative stress. A lot of Ibrahim uh, Kareem will say that uh, the main reason that people, our environment, weather is changing, that whatever global warming, people will say that, but it's from EMFs, not from, uh, not from fossil fuels per se. And this bandwidth is of the cell phones at 2.45 gigahertz or waves per second is the same frequency that starts to destructure water. So uh, the structure of our water isn't being even absorbed in our environment or, or in our body. So we're seeing our pineal glands calcified. That's why we don't sleep. That's why these grounding bags work for your sleep. You're seeing so many different ways that the body's starting to shut down but the hydration is one of the biggest things for you and everybody's health. And so make sure you go to alphavetic.com and get silica. Uh, they have cell salts. You can get it for your birthday, get silica. You know, you can do the diatomaceous earth or Irish sea moss. That'll help you as well. Uh, check out Dr. You know Charlie Fagenholtz's work and he's got online courses. There's some incredible docs out there talking about this stuff. There's a clinic out in our way uh, Cone Health Institute that does some incredible work similar to what yours naturopaths doing, it sounds like. And look into naturopathic and chiropractic world and you know, the doctors that are more functional and, and holistic in their approaches, and they'll have more awareness of this environment, uh, environmental stressors. And then, you know, grab some EMF rocks, get some grounding bags so you can sleep. And, and when you get grounded by nature, go touch a tree, go barefoot, Go lay down on the lawn, get into a body of water. I assure you, you're going to feel better than you've ever felt. And you're going to feel so much calmer and more grounded. Amen. You saw me shaking my head. Yes. To all of that, because yes, 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 yes. To it all. And I am that person that I literally in the past year, I don't know. I don't want to say trees talk to me, but there's like this energy exchange. And so I will literally like almost hear as if they're like, hey, and I'll turn my head and just see this magnificent angel oak tree here, you know, on Hilton Head, we have these beautiful live oaks and I'll, I'll it'll just stop me in my tracks. And then I walk up and put my hand on it and I'm like, hi, how are you? <laughs> like there's, there is there, I mean, they're, they're living creatures as well. So yeah. yeah. And that's that resonance and you can feel it and see it and touch it. And, and it'll, they're saying, Hey, allow us to help you heal and ground and, and literally connect to that resonance. And we want to get out of the meta universe of technology, especially the wearables telling us how we slept or how we feel or how many steps we took. <laughs> like stop that. Yeah intuitively we should know and connect to God, get grounded by nature. And we're going to start to feel a lot better. We don't need technology. It's a tool for us to use, not for it to use us. And the way we're going with it, it's using us. It's aggregating all of our information, sending it to AI, potentially huge privacy threat. And, and that was the whole thing with the smart meters. They, they allow us to opt out of them because of privacy. Thanks to, it was a documentary movie called Take Back Your Power by Josh Del Sol. So there's so much to understand and unlearn in this topic that uh, we got to get close back to nature and her resonance and eating clean food, chemical free, and stop the aerosol spraying in our airs and get the toxic chemicals just out of our skin and byproducts for, for beauty and really get connect to the residents of nature. And we got to literally look at loving, touching, smiling, hugging, grounding, sweating, breathing, laughing, you know, being together, praying, like all those things. Those are pillars of health, Terry, not less oxygen and, and then drugs is health. Like it's just, that's not the way we're going to start to evolve. Yes. Oh, you cheer me up a little bit because I say it and I believe it and I live it. And yes, amen to all of that. <laughs> wow. 
So how do folks connect with you, find your book and uh, get a hold of, of these bags? Oh, thank you. So emfrocks.com is where you can find all the grounding bags and Faraday bags. Athleticism.com. We have all our curated health products and our athleticism book. And, and then we also have grounded by nature. You can find that on Kindle as well. And so that's where you guys find me. Instagram, EMF, at EMF rocks and at athleticism neuro stacking. Cause I treat concussions and stack the nervous system and kind of clear all this stuff. So we're going to get the grounding bags to you. We're going to have you tap on it, Terry. When you do the tapping protocol, then you cover your eyes, then your teeth, then your thymus, then your intestine area. It's going to clear any stuck EMF in your body and in your body field. And all the skin stuff's going to start to clear once you decharge and you get the toxicity out of your body and out of um, your energy field. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to, to try it. I'm so excited, yes, to, to utilize it and then report back to everybody. So I'll talk about it on the on the intros on some future shows and I'll, or hop on the Facebook page and I'll talk about it too. So look awesome. forward to it. All right. Well, it's just been such a joy. Thank you so much for yes, sharing your amazing wisdom with us. Thank you, Terry. All right. Well, everyone, thanks for joining us on the Healing Place podcast. And remember, until next time, be gentle with yourself. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Terry Welbrock again. Just wanted to thank you for listening to the episode today and remind you to visit my website as well, terrywellbrock.com. You can sign up for my monthly Hope for Healing newsletter, which is also jam-packed with information and strategies and blog pieces and guest blog pieces and links to shows. Thanks for, again, being here and being a part of this healing space. I very much appreciate you. All right. Bye-bye.